Okay. So recently I got a message from a viewer. Raw Chess 17 looking for the best advice for the Benson. Given the Benson is almost exactly identical to the Fletcher, it's just got a little bit longer of a reload time. We're going to go over this really quick. And I'll also go over what you should do if, let's say, you don't have Vincent Mordoff. So first, looking at the Benson, looking at the stats really quick. Almost the same, a little bit less health points, 14,000. <clears> so the guns are relatively the same, although that reload time is a little longer at 2.7 seconds instead of 2.1 seconds. Keep in mind, this is the same commander, so um, it's not like I have a different commander, and that's why the reload time is a little longer. Same exact commander, uh, same exact modifications, except for that final modification that you can't get on a tier 6, and roughly the same damage. HE... 1900 AP 2200 torpedoes 2 times 5 109 seconds 6 second 180 rotation time so faster reload faster rotation time for less damage at 11,000 AA is a little worse but only slightly I believe the Fletcher is 55 this is 46 maneuverability 38 knots top speed turning circle of 570 i think that's uh the same if not a little better and a rudder shift time of 2.4 seconds concealment is the same at six kilometers detectability by sea and firing and smoke is the same 2.6 so some of those things to keep in mind and going back to the commander oh i guess now i'm looking at it you could probably make the Benson even better detectability wise if you put on a camo that's fully maxed out or a type 4 camo. So I'll go back real quick. Uh, yeah, 5.7. So it's a little better than the Fletcher, even. But, given that, let's take a quick look at Vincent Mordoff. I'll show you that absolutely nothing has changed from that last video of the Fletcher versus right now showing that you the commander same level same inspirations so the percentages haven't changed it's just the Benson has a slightly worse reload not a big deal Fletcher has 2.1 second reload Benson has 2.6 second reload that's 0.6 seconds it's not a huge difference and I've used the Benson this way and it it absolutely uh, and it absolutely just manhandles any other destroyer that you're gonna meet in the match unless you run into uh, tier sevens and you can get up tiered just something to consider okay now <clears throat> let's say you don't have Vincent Mordoff right some people aren't gonna have him some people aren't gonna want to spend the money or they haven't been lucky enough to get him through a crate to have a faster reload like that, it's going to be a little harder to come by, a little harder to build. Um, I wouldn't go with Albert Gleaves, as he's a torpedo commander. You could go with Arlisle Burke to uh, tighten up your shell grouping so that your shells are hitting a little more often than they normally would. Now I will say your reload isn't going to be as fast. We're going to go ahead and put him on the boat to show you what the reload is going to look like. So that's Arlyle Burke on the Benson. Looking at the stats, now you're at 3.5 seconds. It's not terrible, but it's also not that 2.7 seconds that you saw previous. Sliding over to another commander, William Halsey. We're just going to put him on the boat really quick. But first we're going to look at his abilities. So destroyer main gun AP shell damage. Increases the damage of your AP shells. Now as you can see, I don't even have a second inspiration on Halsey. I don't use Halsey. Um, I said in my last video, when I got Vincent Mordoff, I pretty much only use Vincent Mordoff. I kind of stopped using any other 
destroyer commanders unless it's an American torpedo boat. If it's torpedo heavy as an American boat, then I might choose another commander. But for this case, you could use Halsey and then just choose Observant Rage. If you're really trying to deal damage uh, and you don't care about concealment, you can easily use Mortar. Uh, if you're hunting enemy destroyers, I would argue you're either probably going to want to use one of these three, Twist and Track, Thousand Cuts, or Perceptive. And for this, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to use a Thousand Cuts. And that way we get as close to Vincent Mordoff as we can. We're going to go down to either Cloudy Haze or Smoke on the Water. It's our only choice. So maybe Smoke on the Water so that smoke lasts a little bit longer. I'm trying not to have any negative effects, so I'm not going to choose Cloudy Haze. And uh, this is a situation where you could probably argue and uh, convince me to choose Leviathan because your reload's a little slower, your gunfights are probably going to last a little longer, maybe you need that, that health pool. However, I don't want to get caught in my smoke. Uh, without any kind of running engine or ability to maneuver, so I'm still going to say I would go with Unstoppable. So, I'm going to slide on over here and choose Inspirations. Inspirations, you could still choose Charles Madden and increase that reload time. And another destroyer commander that you can use to increase your reload, main battery reload time, is the Chinese commander. Let's hold on, let's choose a filter so this goes by a little faster. And then we're gonna scroll on over. I forgot his name, so I'm not gonna say it right now. Ah, Ding Ru Chang. Okay, and choose Mr. Ru Chang, right? Charles Madden. So you're still increasing your main battery reload by negative 2.4 still increasing your main battery reload with both inspirations, right? Negative 2.55% and negative 3.6%. Still pretty good. You don't have that base trait that Vincent Mordoff does, but let's go see what it did for our main guns. Three second reload time. That's not bad. Well, it's not bad at all. I think our concealment, oh, our concealment is still awful. So, that's probably the best you're gonna get without Vincent Mordoff as your main commander on your American Destroyer, if you don't have Vincent Mordoff. Now, if we go back, you'll see that William Halsey isn't maxed out here. He doesn't, he's not max level. So, as you can see with the third ability, a thousand cuts, if you increase his level, that first part of that skill, the shorter main battery reload time, will only increase negative 6%, negative 8%. And on top of that, if you were to max out, say, Charles Madden and Ding Ru Chang, those abilities would only increase as well. So you may be able to get that reload time maybe down to 2.9, 2.8, even 2.7 if everything is maxed out. But I want you to keep in mind, with Vincent Mordoff, and he, I, I mean, he is pretty close to being maxed out, but he is not maxed out. As you could see in Waste Knot, he, his main base trait maxes out at negative 6%, right? Negative 6%. This ability, a thousand cuts, isn't even maxed out. Negative 8%, right? And sliding over to the inspirations, also not maxed out. So, Vincent Mordoff, fully maxed out with fully maxed out. Inspirations, command... With fully maxed out commander inspirations, it would be even lower. 
I don't know what it would be, but I'm thinking 2.5, 2.4 second main battery reload time. It's not a huge difference, but you know, it does make a difference overall. I'm gonna go back to William Halsey. We'll look at this ability really quick because the AP damage 2506. Also, you can see that the maximum HE shell damage has also increased. <clears throat> now, three second reload time versus the Vincent Mordoff build, where it's 2.7 seconds. It's not a huge difference, but look at the difference in damage. With the Vincent Mordoff build, 1,900 damage for each shell of HE that hits the enemy. Now with Halsey, it's three seconds, not a huge difference, but also maximum HE shell damage, 2,103. That's gonna stack up. And also when you run into enemy cruisers that are fully broadside to you, you have that AP shell damage increase of over 300 damage. And if they're fully broadside to you and they're silly enough to stay that way, that's gonna be a lot of damage. That's when I would start firing full salvos instead of one by one. So this is gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to go over uh, a question that a viewer had of what you can do with the Benson. And it's totally possible to still build a gunboat with the Benson. Still viable. That's still a pretty quick reload, especially for the tier and not having a special event commander. If I didn't have Vincent Mordoff, I would probably use this build and increase William Halsey's level much more than it already is. But I don't see a need for him, hence why he's just going to probably sit there at level 11. Well, I do hope this helped. I hope it answered your question. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will ask, I know that finding me on Xbox, that's fine. I understand finding me on Xbox, it's easy. But if you can leave a comment in my YouTube videos, it does help the algorithm. It helps me get exposure for my channel and it helps other players like yourself find out ways to build their ships in a better way so that when they go out into a match, they have a little bit more fun. I do appreciate the question and I appreciate you having the faith in me to help you with your ship builds. I hope this did help. I do have a couple more videos in the works which will be coming out very soon. And I am considering a couple other games that I might start recording and posting in the very near future. If you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing. Leave a like, hit the notification bell for future content like this, and even comment down below letting me know any ships that you're interested in seeing a closer look at, any ships you're interested in seeing gameplay of, or even other games you might be interested in seeing. I'm Buckshot Bucky, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.